We're starting in about one minute. Um, I'm going to double check and make sure everything is working on our end. So pardon me for just one sec as I do a little bit of testing before we get started. Um, I always have to make sure things are working correctly. And this will be strange when it happens. You're probably going to see a bit of an echo. Let's click play. Yep, there we go. That's working. Okay, so um, I'm going to start this kind of slowly just because I know people are still showing up. Just so you know, the live Q&A part is live. So if you have any questions, you can type them in uh, down below, and I will see them um, and then answer them. In fact, if anybody who's here now could do me a big favor, and that is just type in a yes or a something just to indicate that you can hear me. Um, that way I'll know things are are actually working, working. Uh, I'm going to double check things again on my side to make sure that it's doing what I want. Okay, there's that, there's that, there's that. Um, and here's this. I'll open that in a new window. So I'm very excited about what we're going to be sharing in the next few minutes. And again, let's just deal with the technological bits of the puzzle first. Uh, I'm going to do a sample question that just gets submitted there, and here's this. Um, okay, and now I go back to the questions and find my, oh, I have to refresh this page, don't I? Right, um, the software that I'm using to manage this webinar um, has one little glitch that I totally forgot about until just now. So give me one more sec. Okay, great. So that's all working. Uh, and perfect. Welcome again to the new product introduction webinar. I'm Stephen Sashman from Zero Shoes, and I'm very excited about what we're going to be showing. Uh, let me actually start to do one more thing and see if I can um, get all the info that I want. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Great. Uh, we have a couple of new products that we're launching in the near future, and I'm here to introduce those to you and answer any questions that you have about those. And um, some of the information I'm going to give you is going to be complete and comprehensive, and there's going to be a couple of leftover questions. We don't have all of the answers for everything that I wanted at this moment. We're still uh, dealing with our factories, and I'll talk about that in just a sec. So first things first. For the last almost four years, we've been selling our basic do-it-yourself kit in different forms. The first one was just a sheet of Vibram rubber with some laces that, and some instructions. Uh, and then we created our Feel True rubber outsoles, the only outsole made specifically for barefoot running sandals. And uh, those were co-developed with former lead designers from Nike and Reebok. Um, eventually, we got to <laughs> include a little hole punch in that. So we gave you a complete kit, everything you needed, laces, hole punch. I guess the only thing you needed on top of that is a pair of scissors and maybe a lighter to seal the end of your lace. Uh, we've sold almost 50,000 pairs of those in the last three and a half, almost four years, and we're really, really thrilled that that's happened. But we also knew that for every do-it-yourself kit that we sold, or even with the custom-made shoes that we sold, there was probably five, ten, who knows how many more people who were intimidated by the do-it-yourself idea. And we wanted to solve that problem. Similarly, we knew that retailers, and I know some of the people on this call are retailers, were some were really okay with the do-it-yourself product, and some found that also intimidating. And so we spent the last, oh gosh, well actually pretty much since the day I started the company trying to crack the code for a product that would have all of the features and benefits that we find important with something that addressed all the concerns that people had about a do-it-yourself product. And we have done that. Um, before I show it to you, I'm going to do a quick refresh on this page to see if there's any questions. And again, if, um, if you just joined us, do me a favor, just type your name in the question thing and submit your question just so I can see this here. By the way, when I look over that way, I'm looking at another screen and that's where, um, uh, that's where I get to see questions and monitor the status of things. So give me one more second just to make sure that's all doing what it's supposed to do. Click and click and click and perfect. Great. 
So what I'm introducing to you now is a product that we're calling the Sensory Venture. Now, let me just say something about the naming before I even show you the product. We originally were just calling it the Sensory, and it's S-E-N-S-O-R-I. Um, we're frankly in the middle of some trademark issues with that, and so we're calling it the Sensory Venture, waiting to see what happens with those trademark issues. If uh, they get resolved in our favor, we might just stick with Sensory Venture, or we might just call it the Sensory and drop the Venture part. And if those issues get resolved not in our favor, um, we'll be calling it the venture. So the sensory venture solves all of those issues that we described with, or I haven't described all of them, with the do-it-yourself kit uh, and create something really, really special. Here is what it looks like. Let's hold that up so you can see, and I'll show it from a number of different angles. Pardon the um, little bit of schmutz that's on there. I didn't get to clean that off. I just got these back after being on a little sales trip and haven't. Uh, clean them totally. So, as you can see, the sensory venture, this is how it comes, totally done. Uh, it comes in different sizes from women's 6 to women's 11 and men's 5 to men's 14. Those are our most popular sizes. Uh, and I'll show you the different colors in a sec, but let's talk about the features. First, we are using our Feel True rubber. This is about a 5.5 millimeter outsole, so it's kind of in between our 4 and our 6. The reason for that, we found that for many of the barefoot aficionados, the real barefoot people, they loved the four. For people who are less familiar with barefoot, when we'd be out in public, they usually preferred the six mil. So we went with something that's kind of slightly in between-ish. And let me interject and say, we're not getting rid of anything. This is in addition to our product line. So for people who still want the ultimate barefoot feeling, our four millimeter kit is going to give you that. Um, we love the idea of making a four millimeter version of this, but it's just not technically possible for reasons that you'll see in a second. So it comes pre-laced, uh, and the you'll notice that there's two laces in this one, the blue uh, with reflective tracer and the black. And that's one of the things that makes this product unusual. I think this is this may be the first real advance in Warhanches in 5,000 years. I realized that if I use two laces, it affords us a number of solutions that we couldn't get in any other way. The first being that uh, you don't have to tie a knot right here. It comes pre-tied just like that. The second being it, is it creates this adjustable uh, lacing system where you've got a familiar, uh, let's see if you can see it there, let me show it on, on the blue side, it's easier to see. You've got a familiar tensioner, um, if you've ever used a backpack you've seen tensioners like this and then just a little lace end to clean it up at the end and all you have to do to adjust the tension is pull on this a little bit and tweak it through or you can loosen it the same way. So um, slide it on, if the tension is not quite perfect for the, the top of your foot, just pull it through the ankle holes and then adjust from here. And once that's adjusted, it stays locked firmly in place. Um, we've, since these are done in sizes and they're done in single sizes, so for example, 8, 9, 10, 11, not 8, 8, 8.5, 9, 9.5, 10, uh, we find that uh, we've, um, I'm trying to think, remember what I was saying. We've measured the length of the laces, so this should be a pretty good fit right away. If you have to cinch it up and you have to cinch it up too much, so you have some extra lace floating around there, you can move the tensioner so that it doesn't float. Or you can also, if you have to, pop off this lace end, um, trim off the, the excess, and put it back on. Very rare that that's going to happen, um, but it is something that's doable. I'm looking back here because I see a question coming in, so I'm going to address that in just a second. You'll also notice this silicone heel strap that we have right here. Really, really ridiculously comfortable. Um, gives you some great protection around the Achilles uh, and allows makes it easier just to slide on your foot as well. Um, we're very happy with that. And you also probably notice this toe post up in the front. This toe post is made of a super flexible TPU, for those of you who are into materials. Uh, it's almost as flexible as the lace itself. And the shape and the design of it, you know, with all of our wear testers, it's as noticeable, if not less noticeable, than when you have the lace. And you can see the toe post comes through to the bottom. So this is recessed. You can see that little, let's see if I can make you see it. You can see that it's recessed. It sits in the sole. There you go. And is basically flat. 
once you step on it a few times, it really does flatten out. It's very resistant to abrasion. Um, we haven't seen very much wear on that. For the same reason you don't see much wear on the knot, it's in a place that shouldn't get much abrasion anyway, but for people who do uh, either overstride or in some other way create abrasion on their foot, um, that's not going to have an issue. Now this is the reason why we can't do a four millimeter version of this. That's about two millimeters right there and to have just two millimeters left, it's actually a little over two, to have only two millimeters of rubber left uh, is not secure enough to be able to hold it. It would just pop right through. Let's see, let's see, let's see what else. Um, the heel cup, this is really fun. We sometimes get people who will email and say, hey, my heel is sliding off the outsole. Now, nine, nine, 99 times out of 100, that's because the heel strap just needs to be a little bit tightened. But for some people, they have some uh, unusual gait pattern, and that's what occurs is their heel slides. This holds your heel in place nice and comfortably. It's very flexible. Uh, it also helps keep things out. If you're kicking stuff up, it does a little bit of protection from keeping things out. No way to keep everything out of an open toe shoe, but the heel cup helps. Uh, and it adds a nice fun dash of color, which there's no other product that has something like that, so it really stands out and people notice it. Speaking of color and noticing, let me show you the four core colors that we're going to be releasing immediately. Uh, the blue and black, the, I'm going to do this in reverse order, then we have a lime green, yeah, let me hold that up so you can see, here's the lime green, so lime green and black laces, and then a hot pink, this comes in just women's sizes, so the women's size is 6 to 11, hot pink with black, and then I say last but not least the charcoal and black, because what we've seen, uh, even though we have the myriad colors of soles and laces, our most popular sole color is black, our most popular lace color is black. So the colors, which I love and I wear the bright colors, um, we're really confident this is going to be our top seller. This has a reflective black lace uh, on uh, one side and regular black lace on the other. Speaking of the laces, this, these come uh, off the shelf just like this. If you're a reseller, those are our four main color combinations, and I'll show you something else with those in a second. Uh, for affiliates, just so you know, those are the main colors. For an additional price, we're going to allow people to select the lace colors they want to go with the outsoles, uh, and we'll make them up with any of the 22 laces that we have. Backing up to those of you for, who are retailers, I just want to show you this is how they're going to hang on the shelf. Let me move that a little closer so you can see. Or not hang on a shelf, hang on a post. Uh, and we are creating and do have collateral material, point of purchase material to go over the display. Um, if we, if you don't have or want a freestanding display, we have those as well. And we'll talk to you about whatever you need to help uh, sell the new sensory venture. The thing that we've discovered with this product, and you may already know this, People want to try them on. In fact, once they do try them on, that's what sells it. So if you wear them around the store, people are going to wonder about them. And if you just get them to try them, put them on their feet, um, they, they sell themselves. So that's our goal is just to get people to try them. We, we even entertain the idea of having a sign, this is the most comfortable sandal you've ever worn. Because we know that'll make... 10 people who would never even look at them think, well, really? I'll put that to the test. And out of those 10, five, six, seven, we'll find that in fact it's the case uh, and make a purchasing decision that way. So the sensory venture in our four major core colors, I'll show them all off in one fell swoop this way for the fun of it. And then we have a couple of others that are special items. So we've got our marbled madness colors. These are items that we're hoping to order if we get enough uh, interest. We have a relatively large minimum order we have to place with our factory, so in order to get these, we need to have uh, enough people who want them that we can piggyback on that order. To get them ourselves is just um, prohibitively expensive, so we're looking forward to being able to get to these. We know we've had some people who have asked about them. Here's the first one, our camouflage. And then what I like to call ocean camo. This is actually one of the ones that I wear. And then I don't know, uh, I haven't come up with a name for this color combination. Or 
or frankly, the purple camo either. These are Marble Madness colors. We've also developed a few uh, translucent colors. Yikes, that gets really, really bright. And you can see, yeah, you can see through to the tread. So these are semi-translucent. Our lemon yellow. And charcoal. And royal blue. We were working on a kind of red slash pink, and we're still playing with the colors on that. So we'll get back to you. If you're interested in those, especially as a retailer, let us know. The Marble Madness or the Translucence, let us know, because if we <clears throat> bundle up a big enough order, then we can get those in as well. Let me do a quick question check. Again, if you have a question, just type it in below. If not, that's not a problem. <clears throat> Pardon me. Refresh, Q&A, questions. Let me check one other thing here really quickly. One sec. Great. And that goes there. So let me talk to you about how and when we're launching the Sensory Venture. We don't have an exact date yet. Um, what we've discovered in, with the magic of making products is we know when they're getting made, we know when they're getting shipped, uh, we know how long it should take for them to get here, uh, but it, things can get held up in customs, for example. So we're expecting that we're going to be releasing the Sensory Venture in the first week of October, so about four weeks from now. Uh, my plan is to do a sort of mini launch. What that means is the moment we have them in the door, I'm going to send out an email to our entire list and announce that we have the product, a new product that we want to introduce to people, and we're going to have a webinar in just a couple of days that shows the product, and then we'll have a big webinar where we introduce it. Uh, and we'll, one of the things that I'm going to do, just for fun, is have, uh, we're going to do a special sale on the new product. I don't know the exact amount of the sale. In fact, I'm holding my hand like this because the more people who post like and share and comment on it on Twitter, on Facebook, on Pinterest, on YouTube, the bigger the discount is going to get. So we really, really want to get people in, um, involved in the launch, and that's where you guys are going to come in. Obviously, as affiliates, uh, the more you can promote the new product, the better, because that's going to drive people to our sale through your affiliate link, where you'll get commissions. And for retailers, same thing. Um, we know people are going to want to try these on, and we want to get them to your store, so we'll be listing your stores prominently at the same time. Since we're doing these as a sale, there is a way that you can participate in the sale as well. If you want to do a sale price on the new product, you can. If you don't, that's okay. If you know that we're selling things and you think you should be able to get a discount buying, you can. Uh, call us and we'll tell you how that works as well. Now we know that the moment we get these in, uh, if we start the sale the next you know, like three or four days later, you're probably not going to have product by then. But you can have product within a day or two of that, uh, most likely. If you give us a call, make sure you have an order in before we get these in. We'll get that order out to you as soon as we possibly can, the moment they land on our doorstep, so you'll have them as well. The sale's going to go on for maybe a week, so you'll definitely be able to participate in that. Uh, for both retailers and affiliates, one of the best ways that you can participate and, and take advantage of our launch is by doing product reviews. Now, some of you I know have actually seen the existing product because you found us at Outdoor Retailer or you're the right shoe size and we got you a wear test sample. If you haven't, if you want to do a product review, we want to get you a pair. Uh, so contact us, drop us an email, give us a call, make sure we know your shoe size or more or even better, um, send us a tracing of your foot so we can get you the perfect size for you and we will uh, send you a, a pair to review as soon as we possibly can right after they come in. Pardon me, I'm going to do a refresh over here. Um, whether you do that review on your own blog or on Facebook or you make a video, which is really ideal by the way, and post it on YouTube or post it on Facebook or post it on your own blog, whatever you can do is going to be really helpful for us, obviously, but more importantly, helpful for you in getting the word out. The more you can do to just uh, talk about the product, because there's going to be a lot of buzz, the more you'll be able to capitalize on everything that we're doing to get the word out. Let me double do another quick question. Yep, I already answered that. Okay. So, so, so. Um, what else, what else, what else? Um, 
we're going to get the product in, we're going to send out all of the orders as quickly as we can, we'll send out the review samples as quickly as we can, we'll do the actual launch within a couple of days. Uh, if you need photos and other kinds of, of collateral, we will have those posted on our um, Flickr page, which is uh, zeroshoes.com slash pictures. They're not there yet. They will be there soon. We have them already. I'm just waiting to post them. Um, what else, what else, what else? I think that's everything I can think of about... Oh, uh, pricing. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. The the retail price on the Sensory Venture is going to be $39.99. So for less money than a 6 millimeter custom-made Zero Shoe, you can get the pre-made product. And we'll still continue to do custom products. In fact, you can with these, you can trim these to size if you want um, with just a pair of kitchen scissors just like you would with the six millimeter product. I don't know how necessary that's going to be but you can. In fact, um, another point that I just thought of, one of the great advantages that we had with having over 4,000 people who've made custom shoes is that we have tracings from 4,000 people's feet and what we did in making these is measure or take all those tracings and line them up so we could find the optimal place for this toe hole or this toe post actually, and the hole that the post goes through. We discovered something very interesting. 95% of people are within a millimeter or two of this space, so we know that, the, that we've picked a good spot for it. The second thing that we discovered is for many flip-flops and sandals, they have this in the wrong place. So um, that was fascinating to discover. Another thing really quick that just popped into my mind, while we are selling this complete as is, you can tweak it. You can take this apart and put it back together and do things with it. We're not announcing that or really advertising that um, as a feature, but it's something we expect people will figure out and do on their own, and that'll be a lot of fun. You can um, pop out the toe post if you want and just have the lace go through that hole and tie a little knot in the bottom and melt it, just like you would for a regular sandal. You can use this just like um, you were using a kit. Oh, this also reminds me, you probably already noticed that we elevated the ankle holes uh, totally off the ground. Very few small number of people, they will land in such a way that they were putting some abrasive force on the laces at this point. Um, so now we've removed that issue as well. But anyway, you can use this as a kit if you like. Uh, and if you, again, need to, you can pop off the lace ends, uh, take it all apart, put beads and charms on it, put it back together, pop the lace ends back on. So we're expecting some people to do that, but again, not promoting it that way or advertising it that way. There was something else I was going to say about that. Uh, in a similar vein, some people I know are going to see this and go, hey, that's great. Can I get these for my existing kit? And the answer is okay. Um, we, In fact, I have to double check that because it's something we've talked about around here, but I don't know if we've ordered enough of the additional pieces to do that. But you can use these on a regular kit. I have to be completely honest. At this point, I haven't taken the toe post tossed it into one of my sandals and gone for a run on it. So I don't know what it's like, but if you look at that, you can see that's smaller than most of the knots are anyway. So it should be, if you're fine with the knot, you should be just as fine with this. And then you can use uh, this lacing style or, or anything like it. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else about the venture? <clears throat> that's all I can think of. Let me double check and see if there's any leftover questions before I show you one other very exciting new product. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nope, we're all okay. Let me check one other thing. That goes there, this goes here. That's there. That's here. So far, so good. Okay, great. Um, well, I'm also very happy to introduce one other product to you. We have a lot of people who say, well, what do I do when it gets cold? I want to keep wearing my Zero shoes, but the temperature is getting down, uh, and I just can't do it. And my answer so far has been, well, A, uh, your feet are going to adapt and adjust. I've been wearing nothing but my Zero Shoes or previously Invisible Shoes for the last three and a half, four, actually four years. And I made it through three Colorado winters without a problem. Your feet do adjust, especially if you don't expect that you can just walk outside as if nothing is different uh, in almost your bare feet. What you do if you're going to go for a run, warm up indoors, go out for a small run, a couple hundred yards, come back. Once your feet just get a little chilly, come back, warm up indoors, go out for another loop, come back, warm up indoors, go out for another loop. If you keep making loops, at some point you'll be out and you'll realize that your blood flow has changed, your body temperature has gone up, and you really can handle more cold for longer, and then you can do a slightly longer run. Um, 
you're not going to go out and do two hours in icy cold temperatures, or, or especially in snow or where it's really wet. Uh, but you can handle way more than you thought. The third answer I gave is get a pair of oversized wool socks, for example, or some in, some toe socks, either from Toe Socks from us or from ToeSocks.com, T-O-E-S-O-X, uh, or in Gingy or any toe socks that you can find. But we developed a better mousetrap, and I'm very happy to show you the plus one Toasty, T-O-E-S, T Y toes T, and the Toasty is a split toe product, so it works perfectly with our sandals. And it's uh, this looks like neoprene, but it's not. Neoprene doesn't breathe, which means after a few minutes in it, you're going to be really, really warm, and more importantly, um, running in a puddle of your own foot sweat. Not a very pleasant thing, uh, I must say. Uh, so this is actually made of a polyester spacer mesh that we had designed with a, let's see if I can, well here, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it on here in a second, with a bamboo fleece liner that I'll show you in just a moment. The, these are silicone treads that work perfectly with our sandal, and you're probably already thinking, and the answer is yes, this also works great on its own for indoor activities, Pilates, yoga, CrossFit, or just hanging, around, hanging out around the house. The really unique feature of this product is that the upper part is a one-piece design kind of hard to see as I rotate it, but unlike almost all other products that are either woven, so they're, they don't really have any shape, uh, or it's like a moccasin design where there's a bottom and then an upper sewn on top of it. This is a one-piece design, and what that means is the product essentially dynamically adjusts to different foot shapes and widths. They are going to come in five or six different sizes. Small, I think five or six, I can't remember at the moment. Um, and uh, it stretches both this way and this way and this way. So no matter what your foot shape, the, the plus one toasty should fit you just fine. Um, let me slide it off here and show you. Here's the, it doesn't look like magic, but that's um, a bamboo fleece material. It's really, really soft, really, really comfy. Uh, it deals with moisture really well, keeps your feet cooler when it's warm and warmer when it's cool, and we just are totally, totally in love with that. Um, the list price on this is uh, $39.99. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, we're not, we don't have a, a firm date on when we're going to get these in. It's not going to be the same time that we get the Sensory Venture. We're thinking, well, we know sometime this winter, but we're still waiting for an exact date from our production facility. In fact, we've got emails going back and forth with them, even as we speak, um, for that. Uh, just a preface, or, or, or what's the word, uh, tell you about something that hasn't happened yet that I'll be telling you more about later. There's also going to be a summer version of uh, this that we're calling the trail that is just great for when you need a little extra protection if you're out in sticks and stones and things that you don't want your bare feet uh, to get hit by, it, which also, it also makes a great biking shoe, or it makes, or sorry, biking sock, uh, or, um, well, it's just actually a really cool sock, much thinner than this, um, very, very elegant, and still that same four-way stretch and one-piece design. Let's see, what else? I think that's all that I've got. I'm going to be sending out a bunch of emails over the next month to let everyone know about when the release is happening and uh, any other pricing questions or issues or the best way to take advantage uh, of the fact that we'll be doing these product launches and we really not only want your help but want to support you in getting these products out on people's feet. Oh, a uh, quick thought that reminded me about the Toasty for those of you who are retailers. Actually for affiliates as well, it just occurred to me. This might not be, you, you might have already figured this out. But this product works not just with our sandal, but with any sandal. So whether it's one of our competing Warache products, or any flip-flop, or any sandal you can think of, um, this is just a really, really great cold weather product. And you can promote it in that way. You don't have to promote it, promote it just with Zero Shoes. You can, you can find anybody who's talking about any kind of sandal and introduce the plus one to them. Uh, and by the way, that's plus sign O-N-E. So we're very excited about what's going to happen as a result of that now that we have a product that's, that expands beyond just our specific product line uh, or something that matches our specific product line. I can't think of anything else on my end uh, I, for the retailers and for many of you affiliates. Um, by the way, hey, I want to see if I can grab Rudy just to come wave hi. Hey, Rudy? 
see if I can yell across and get him to show up. A lot of you are going to be dealing with our sales manager, Rudy D'Souza. I just wanted to give you a quick intro to him. I hear him running this way. Um, so here, I'm going to have you step in. There we go. So this is Rudy D'Souza. Rudy, say, say hi. Hi. Uh, the sad thing, by the way, is I'm standing on my 8-inch treadmill desk. <laughs> He's not. Um, and so Rudy's who you're going to be dealing with most likely for any of your questions, um, placing orders, any issues, et cetera, et cetera. If, if you have any questions, if there's any training that I can do for you guys, if there's any just special needs, just pick up the phone. I'm always here. Pick up the phone, drop an email, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. Sound cool? Exactly. Okay, get back to work. Yep. <laughs> um, I want to thank you for being on this webinar. If you're watching the replay, thank you for watching the replay. Again, if you have any questions, uh, especially if it's replay time, don't put the questions below because they're not going to be seen. But give us a call or drop us an email and we will um, answer all those as soon as we can. Let me just do one last check and see if there's any questions that I haven't answered. It looks like I got them all in real time. Uh, live Q&A. Active questions? No, nope. it looks like we got them all. So once again, thank you for all of your help, all of your support so far. We're incredibly excited about where the new products are going to go, um, how they're going to expand into a market beyond barefoot runners, uh, into people who just love the idea of freedom and fun and natural movement, and we want to thank you in advance for, for your help with that. So more soon. Take care. Feel the world.